have the Glenn sisters for Kansas State and the Ledger Walker sisters for Washington State. So we'll keep an eye on those two and see who will win the battle of the sisters here today in this 8-9 matchup. Their time is 8.30 in the morning. Shot from Ebert will fall. Emily Ebert, the six-foot junior from Frankfurt, Kansas, gets us going here. That was legendary, um, but it's more than that, right? It's her presence on the court. It's what she does off the court. Uh, it's simply put, just an exciting player to watch. It's her defensive presence, three blocks a game. Let's remember that both of these teams hold opponents to 60 points per game. We, we are most likely in for a defensive slugfest, uh, even though that was a great cut by Ledger Walker. You have to be creative right. against Ioka Lee defensively. Ledger Walker, oh, the reverse for the older sister, Crystal. She averages eight a game. Charlize Ledger Walker, how about the elder sister? Crystal Ledger Walker. Now they have been here since Wednesday, both teams have, so they've been able to adjust, but 11.30 a.m., that'll take you back to your AAU days playing early games. Nice cut there from Brylan, Riley Glenn. Arquitete hands off. Michaela Jones, redshirt junior in the game. Charlize pulling up from the free throw line, knocks it down. Kara Wallach will fire a three off the back of the rim. And an offensive rebound for Ula Motuga. Johanna Tadair kick it out. Wallach on the other side this time and connects. Largest lead of the game. 16 to 7, a scoring drought of two minutes and 45 seconds is ended off the floater from Briley Glenn. Maria Sundell, the point guard, second on the team in scoring, has not scored yet in this game. Number four in Kansas State. Bodies collide there, helping out Ayoka Lee. To dare the blow by. Just couldn't finish at the rim, though. It's a great hesitation move. Nice drive on the other end. Rebecca Dallinger out of Sydney, Australia. Remember, this Kansas State team really struggled last season. They only won just nine games as that floater will fall for Emily Ebert. Anywhere in Ayukali's vicinity, get it out of there and just keep her off the offensive glass. Crystal Ledger Walker all the way to the rack. Seven points for Crystal in the game. She averages eight a game. She's almost there. And try to get the ball inside to Motuga against a smaller defender. Off the screen, Ledger Walker open for three. 12 points for Charlie's Ledger Walker in the game. She's got to be a little more aggressive. She's the only other player that averages double figures in addition to A.O. Nice spin by Motuga. So the Cougs start with the ball here in the second half. And a shot will fall. Charlize Ledger Walker picks up right where she left off. A team leading 14 points. She's just been breaking records left and right. It kind of seems ho hum at this point for a player like her, second team All American. Here's the runner in the lane. That was a ticky tack foul that Crystal, Crystal Ledger Walker picked up, and that's her third. So now America Tate and Crystal, the defensive stopper of the sisters, have three. Ten to shoot. Riley Glenn's three connects. Feels like they know what shots they want. They're not playing as timid as they were offensively, and that's what they have to do. Throw it up. Get the ball in the air and let Aoka Lee go grab it. One of the biggest takeaways from being at their practice and talking with Coach Moore, they're loose. They're doing everything they can to keep themselves loose. As Ted Lasso says, you got to have that memory of a goldfish. Put it away and on to the next game. Ledger Walker, floater, gets a friendly roll to the backstop. Sundell fakes the shot on the drive, runs into Clark. There's Ayoka Lee on the offensive board, and the putback. 12 points for Ayoka Lee now. It's been a chess match between Coach Mitty and Coach Etheridge, and those are the superstars to watch which team, which, which player can make it happen. That's a good look for Charlize. One of the more open looks that she's had all day. Just wasn't able to knock it down. Simone Goodrich, the floater, her first points of the game. Akila Smith for Longwood, but up 32 in the first four game. It's going to be a 
point of emphasis for Westmore and NC State later this afternoon. Wow! Acrobatic shot for Jessica Clark. Six to shoot. Into a Yoko Lee. Double teamed immediately. Fading away. Somehow able to get the basket to go. 18 points for a Yoko Lee. Down the stretch here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Under five to go. Charlize Ledger Walker. The pull up. Gets the roll. Sundell in the paint with the left hand. Crystal Ledger Walker's three in and out. They really needed that. Up the floor, Jalen Glenn, pass to her twin, blocked by Motuga. Out of bounds. And that will certainly wrap it up. Kansas State advances to the second round of the NCAA tournament. They will await the winner of NC State and Longwood.